Hey there, everybody. Happy Monday. Just popping on here. I know I usually do a live, but I wanted to come on here and piggyback off of a live video that I actually did last week, which were six instances of where you do want to block and delete someone off of LinkedIn. And this is something that people asked me time after time. You know, Scott, when do you want to remove a connection on LinkedIn? When does someone become not valuable as a connection on LinkedIn. So there are six specific instances. Number one is upon accepting that person's connection request, you immediately get an 18 paragraph long drunk log message of that person trying to pitch and sell you. As soon as that happens to me, I don't reply to the message. I just click on the person's profile and remove them. Number two, even before you accept the connection, they're sending you a connection request with a note attached that has a sales pitch in it. So they're not even taking the time to get to know you. They're just trying to sell you and trying to pitch you in the note. That is an immediate ignore and I never even allow the person as a connection. Number three, number three, they do something called the bait and switch, which means they reach out to you with the notion of wanting to get to know you and your business. And then you get on the phone with them and all they do is pitch and sell you about their business, about their products, about their services and what they do. And they could care less to hear about anything about you because all they want to do is sell you. Number four, they troll all of your content on LinkedIn with negativity. I have no room in my business, in my sphere, in my circle for negativity. So if someone is coming into my network, if someone is coming into my content and they are just spewing negativity on everything I put out there, bye-bye. I go to that person's page, I click remove connection and they can never see my stuff ever again. And you may have to block them in case they, again, cause you can remove a connection but they can still see your stuff. So if you don't want them near any of your stuff, block them. Uh, number five, that person in your network posts negative and polarizing content. So this is also big. I have no room for anything that's polarizing. I have nowhere near anything for negativity. So if that bring that, that person is posting about polarizing things, about negative things, I go to their profile, I remove them as a connection and unfollow them so I don't have to see any of it. And finally, number six, the person is treating LinkedIn like a dating site. I know so many of you can relate to this, whether you're a male or a female, that you have those people that just treat it like a dating site. Listen, it's not match.com, it's LinkedIn. So if someone is trying to date you on the platform, immediately go to their profile and block them. Don't delete them, block and delete them because you don't want them being to be able to access you or anyone within your network. So comment below. Which of the six that I mentioned have you experienced the most on LinkedIn? I would love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye everyone.